Hello, everyone. I'm Sydney. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, who we're here with today? I'm Molly. Thank you for coming today, Mercer. Um, tell us your name and grade. I'm Mercer. I'm a sophomore. Awesome. So, in front of you, we have these two lovely snacks. Right now, which one would you pick to eat? Love these and fruit. This. Right, okay. Um, and which one do you think would be safer to eat? Probably the apple. Okay. So in front of us, we have Kellogg's Fruit Loops and an apple. So which one of these would you prefer to eat? I mean, right now, the apple honestly looks more appetizing. Okay, fair enough. And which one would you think is safer to eat? The apple, definitely. Okay, interesting. So fun fact, actually both are not very safe to eat. Um, Fruit Loops have BHT in them, which is a preservative to keep color. Apples have tons of fertilizers and um, chemicals. Did this information surprise you? Yes, definitely. And how do you think you would proceed in grocery stores knowing this information about both with your shopping and daily grocery shopping? I guess knowing that all foods are bad so you can pick really whatever you want. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. The World Health Organization defines food additives as substances primarily added to processed foods or other foods produced on an industrial scale for technical purposes to improve safety, increase the amount of time food can be stored, or modify sensory properties of food. Food additives have been proven time and time again to have adverse effects on human health and the environment. As an investigative team, we are focusing specifically on three different types of food additives, preservatives, pesticides, and fertilizers. Preservatives are defined as a form of food additive that prevents or slows chemical reactions that lead to the deterioration of food, allowing it to last longer and taste better. There are two types of preservatives, natural and synthetic. Preservatives can also be further categorized into antimicrobial and antioxidant agents. Antimicrobials inhibit the growth of bacteria and antioxidants prevent browning, which typically occurs in the presence of oxygen. However, there are various negative health effects associated with the use of these preservatives. Take for instance, the presence of benzoic acid. Benzoic acid is known to trigger asthma symptoms such as shortness of breath, wheezing, and breathing difficulties. Sodium benzoate, a synthetic food preservative that is also found in makeup products, can lead to cellular damage. BHA is also a preservative commonly found in lipsticks and moisturizers. Not only is it in cosmetics, but it also is added to a lot of food products such as cereals, chewing gums, and frozen foods. Well-known brands such as Captain Crunch, Apple Jacks, and Fruit Loops use BHA to prolong their shelf life and keep their color vibrant. This preservative can affect neurological systems in the brain and has been proven to cause cancer in small rodents. Nitrate-rich synthetic fertilizers used in agriculture run off into bodies of fresh water after storm events or mass watering. This runoff creates algal blooms, which are simply overgrowths of algae that photosynthesize in the water and deplete oxygen levels, which suffocates marine life. These algal blooms are detrimental to the health and welfare of marine biodiversity in the surrounding areas and also contaminate sources of drinking water. Algal blooms form primarily due to the use of synthetic fertilizers, which are often used in place of growing techniques that prioritize the health and nutrient diversity of the topsoil. Beyond the environmental impacts, synthetic fertilizers are known to contain higher levels of heavy metals and consumption of food grown in these conditions has been linked to issues with the kidneys, lungs, and liver. Pesticides can also cause significant human and environmental health risks and are used to protect crops from destruction by insects and diseases. In reference to human health, the NIH states that there is now overwhelming evidence that some of these chemicals and pesticides do pose a potential risk to humans. They also state that no segment of the population is completely protected against exposure to pesticides and their potentially serious health effects. The worldwide deaths and chronic diseases due to pesticide poisoning number about 1 million per year. A commonly used pesticide called chloropyrifos is used to protect plants from many insects and worms.
While it serves as plant protection, consuming or even breathing this chemical harms the nervous system of humans and can cause tremors, muscle weakness, blurred vision, and headaches. Beyond the human health effects of pesticides, the NIH states pesticides can contaminate soil, water, turf, and other vegetation. These toxic pesticides have even contaminated groundwater that is so deep underground that it is usually safe from any type of contamination. A recent study conducted in India found that 58% of drinking water samples drawn from various hand pumps and wells around Bhopal were contaminated with organochlorine pesticides at levels above the EPA's standard for safe consumption. Even worse, after the normally safe drinking water has been contaminated, it is extremely difficult and expensive to decontaminate groundwater. In other countries, the policies regarding food additives differ from the ones that are currently in place in the United States. For instance, the European regulation adopts a more proactive and protective stance, whereas the United States employs a reactive approach. The European Union approves additives only after establishing their non-harmful nature. In contrast, the United States operates on the principle that all food additives are considered innocent until proven guilty. The European Union has instituted a body called the European Food Safety Authority, or EFSA, to govern 27 nations within the European Union. The EFSA is responsible for assigning three to four digit codes to every food additive. The corresponding number must be included on all food labels if it is found in the product in order to promote transparency with the customers who actively purchase and consume the food. Furthermore, recent regulation in the European Union introduced transparency requirements for food packaging. This encompasses specifying the quantity of sweeteners, disclosing licorice contents, and indicating if foods are packaged under particular gases. In 1958, the Delaney Clause was integrated into the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, mandating the Food and Drug Administration to prohibit food additives proven to cause cancer in the United States. Nevertheless, numerous contemporary food additives with carcinogenic properties continue to be in use. Consider potassium bromate, an additive utilized to strengthen and improve the texture of baked goods. Despite being identified as a potential human carcinogen, it remains in widespread use. Another illustration is azodicarbanamide, ADA, employed as a whitening agent in cereal flour and a dough conditioner in bread baking. Similar to potassium bromate, ADA possesses carcinogenic properties. Additionally, little to no adjustments to FDA regulations concerning food additives have been made in the last 20 years that address common additives that are strongly linked to causing cancer and other negative health effects. Enhanced transparency and strict regulations on food labels are imperative in the United States to empower consumers with a great understanding of the content and impact of the products they consume. Since this will require a huge shift in American policy, you can help protect yourself in the meantime against these potential dangers of food additives by buying organic produce, thoroughly washing all fruits and vegetables, or growing your own fruits and vegetables. It can also help to avoid processed foods, if possible. However, all of these choices may not be economically viable solutions for everyone. Organic produce is more expensive than their non-organic counterparts. A study conducted by students at Colby Sawyer University surveyed prices for 21 organic food items and non-organic food items at five grocery stores in Waterville. They found that the mean cost of organic items surveyed was 68% higher than for non-organic. In order for everyone to be able to avoid these harmful effects, a huge systematic change must occur within the United States to allow everyone to lead a healthier and happier life. Food additive free.